this is Susan Sutton, editor of ASI, and I'm here at the ASC Spring 2015 Convention and Expo in Nashville, Tennessee. I'm talking with Mike Budai, who is the manager of coding and lamination at ITW Dynatech. Mike is going to be giving a talk about char, so today we're talking about char. Mike, thank you for joining us. Thank you so much. It's good to be here, Susan. Mike, can you tell us what is char and where does it come from? Well, char, uh, very, very simply, is uh, burnt adhesive. Uh, most hot melt adhesive formulations require heat in order to uh, melt and apply them, but too much heat and or too much time will have a negative effect on it, creating char. What kind of problems does char cause? Well, char impedes the whole process. It can clog up a melter, it can clog up the applicator that's applying the adhesive to the material, uh, but the net bottom line is it affects the quality of the product that you're trying to manufacture. Okay, so what can manufacturers do to avoid char or eliminate it if possible? Well, it certainly can be eliminated and there are many, many things that can be done to prevent that from happening. It starts out with the melter design. Um, melters uh, can be designed with what's called a melt-on-demand system. And what that means is that it does not apply any heat to the fluid until there's a demand for it. The second thing is that very tightly controlling the temperature so that it doesn't go above the application temperature recommended by the adhesive manufacturer. And then from there, uh, controlling the levels in the melter to make sure that the heater grids inside the melter do not get exposed to air. Because when that happens, uh, the um, adhesive oxygenates and creating gels and then creating char. So the level control of the adhesive in the melter is very, very critical to make sure those heater grids do not get exposed to air. Okay, great. Thanks, Mike, and thanks for listening.